Hi there, this is Fixed It. We were just taking our dogs, our beautiful lurchers, Skippy and Bree, for a walk along a woodland path, and I came across this moving twig. And on closer inspection, we can see that it's actually a, a grass snake. Without my glasses on, I thought it was an adder, which is the only poisonous, venomous snake in the UK. And a snake I was bitten by as a teenager when I was out running and kicked what I thought was a pile of leads that turned out to be a nest of vipers. The distinguishing marks of the grass snake are the yellow collar around the base of its head and the dots along its body. I think this snake is a juvenile, it's roughly 8 inches long, about 20 centimetres and it must be preparing to feed itself up before going into hibernation in October. This woodland habitat is absolutely perfect for it, even though it's a bit dry at the moment, once it gets into the grass and the undergrowth, there's plenty of places for it to hunt and also to eventually hibernate for the winter. Like all snakes, the grass snake is cold-blooded, so we caught it actually sunbathing in the middle of a dry path in order to get its body temperature up, obviously, before it moves off to hunt. As with other cold-blooded creatures, they can't actually do very much once they're cold. They're quite stiff and rigid, and they need to get their body temperature up quite significantly in order to achieve any sort of speed for any sort of distance. I'm really pleased to see it, because these things are becoming rarer by the year and the woodland area we were walking in has lost about two-thirds of its size in the last few years due to house building and it's about to lose several square miles of this woodland with future building that's planned within the next 18 months thankfully our doggies were too busy pulling my wife and i energetically along the path to have spotted the snake and my wife was able to get the dogs further down the path so that i could observe the snake uh, without it becoming injured and I stayed with it until it moved off into the grass. I need to go online now and check to see whether or not there's a place to register sightings of UK snakes to aid ecological research um, so that people can keep a track of the creatures that are still out there. This is a beautiful snake which will hopefully reproduce this coming autumn so we'll have a lot more snakes next year. As you can see I'm having increasing difficulty tracking the snake and the camouflage is working really well. While it moves I can see it but the moment it stays still it literally just disappears into the background the main visible part of course is the yellow head but even that disappears when the snake is still but i hope you like the video please subscribe to the channel and share it with others and check out my other wildlife videos and playlists thanks for watching bye